Herbs in Action, reflections and stories from the Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens Botany in Action Fellows, discussing herbs from around the world. Hi, my name is Lauren Nerfa. I am a PhD candidate at the University of Hawaii at Manoa, and I study the ways that forest restoration and forest conservation more broadly are being conducted in the Hawaiian Islands. I've also studied this topic in other locations around the world in different tropical forests, but more recently I've been focusing in Hawaii and learning all about the different local uses of plants and approaches to conservation and restoration that are highly successful. And the herb that I would like to talk about today is called Olena, so that is the Hawaiian name, and the English common name for this is turmeric, and the scientific name is curcuma longa. So the young plants, you'll see the leaves standing fairly erect and sort of rolled in, and so it looks a little bit like a ginger plant, you could say, the leaves of ginger. And over time, the rhizome, so this is the stem that grows below ground, the rhizome will continue expanding below ground, and the leaves will continue growing larger and, and wider. But the main thing is to look for how the rhizome grows, and then as it elongates, there will be new shoots that will arrive and uh, emerge from the soil, and so that the new leaves will emerge as well. So turmeric is commonly grown throughout the tropics today. It can grow in any warmer climates, typically at least 68 degrees Fahrenheit. That's about 20 degrees Celsius. And it's cultivated widely throughout the world, particularly in Asia, widely cultivated in Hawaii, where I'm doing my work, and other places around the world as well. So it originated in India and then was transported throughout South Asia and Southeast Asia, and was transported throughout the Pacific Islands and Polynesian ancestors who arrived in Hawaii, they first brought it to Hawaii. So that's why I'm speaking about it today is because I have my connection to the Hawaiian Islands. And it has been used for a variety of medicinal purposes and other purposes. So medicinally, it has several properties, including anti-inflammatory, antifungal, antibacterial, used for treatment of arthritis, gastrointestinal issues. So these are all when it's consumed, and then food for seasoning and flavoring as well, of course, and that's definitely traditional in India. And then it has a lot of other uses as well. So one in Hawaii that's particularly interesting and special is used as a dye for, so it produces a bright yellow dye for the traditional kapa bark cloth, so that is a bark cloth made from the paper mulberry tree. And then it was one of the plant dyes that was used and that is still used today. It's just one of the food plants that's cultivated in some of the forest and agroforest systems that I work in. So I have collaborated with many different organizations in Hawaii who do traditional agroforestry restoration and then forest conservation as well. So some of the organizations that I've worked with, especially those focusing on agroforestry, they've cultivated turmeric quite widely amongst other species. So it's often highlighted as one of the main species that is being selected to be grown in these agroecosystems. Herbs in Action is a collaboration between Phipps Conservatory and Botanical Gardens and the Saturday Light Brigade and is made possible by the Mary Jane Berger Memorial Foundation, dedicated to educating the community about the many benefits and uses of herbs. To hear this feature again or to learn more about herbs from around the world, visit mjbergerfoundation.org.